Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to calculate the cross price elasticity of demand using the midpoint method or sometimes called the arc elasticity method. The cross price elasticity of demand measures a percentage change in the quantity demanded of good X from a percentage change in the price of some other good like good Y. Here is our formula. We have the change in the quantity of good X divided by the average quantity and that is all going to be divided by the change in the price of good Y divided by the average price. Here's a numerical example. The price of beef rises from four to six dollars. So that'll be our change in P. Our change in P here will be just six minus four or two dollar increase causing the quantity demanded of chicken to increase from 95 to 105 units. So let's use this formula then. So the change in quantity, the quantity goes up from 95 to 105. So we have a 10 unit increase in the quantity, 105 minus 95. And then the average quantity, the average of those two values, or the midpoint of those two values is just 100. So in the numerator, we have 10 divided by 100, the change in quantity over the average quantity. As for the price, the price went up by two units, six minus four. And the average of those two prices, or the midpoint between 4 and 6, is just $5. So let's simplify further. 10 divided by 100 is 0.1. 2 divided by 5 is 0.4. And then 0.1 divided by 0.4 gives us a cross-price elasticity of 0.25. Because we're dealing with substitute goods here, the cross-price elasticity of demand is positive. So a, roughly speaking then, a 1% increase in the price of beef causes the quantity demanded of chicken to rise by one-fourth of a percent, 0.25%. Let's do another example. The price of milk rises from $2.80 to $3.60 per carton, causing the quantity demanded of breakfast cereal to fall from 68 to 60 units. What is the cross-price elasticity of demand between cereal and milk? Here's our formula. So notice here that breakfast cereal, the quantity demanded fell. So we're going to have a negative number here, 60 minus 68. So that difference is just 8 units or minus 8 units divided by the average quantity. The average of 60 and 68 is 64. Uh, the price of milk increased, so we have a positive change with the price. Here, the difference between $3.60 and $2.80 is an $0.80 cent increase, an $0.80 cent increase in the price of milk. And dividing it by the average of those two prices, we get $3.20. So minus 8 divided by 64 is minus 0 0.125. And finally, 0 0.8 divided by 3.2 is 0 0.25. And then finishing this up, we get a cross-price elasticity of demand between cereal and milk of minus 0 0.5. So a 1% increase in the price of milk would reduce the quantity demanded of breakfast cereal by a half a percent. With complement goods, the cross-price elasticity of demand is negative. Okay, that's it.